So, hello, we have come to the eighth screencast in this Rules Master series. This is screencast number seven, but we started on zero, so that gives us a plus one. A typical Drupal thing. And in this screencast, I'm not going to give you a new exercise, I'm just going to show you a nice feature of this Rules Mastery uh, Start Setup feature or module that you have on your site. You have not yet seen this, I think, but if you go to Modules and find this Rules Mastery thing, Start Setup, you have a Configure link. And if you go to that, you come to a screen where you can set up the uh, point limits and, and the roles that are awarded for each, uh, each level that you reach on, uh, with Drupal points. So we have these Drupal points on the site and you're awarded them for creating an account or, or posting content and things. And eventually you of course want to level up because that's the whole point of having points uh, or something. Um, and you can here set, well, uh, point limit and one or more roles that are awarded when reaching this limit. Uh, that, that the multiple roles are enabled here is actually something that I just made to make it simpler or easier to, to use this together with rules, but we'll uh, come to that later on. Uh, you can set these levels uh, to, to anything you like, but make sure you set the rules to something here so you have uh, some kind of configuration to work with or some kind of configuration for rules to react on. Um, okay, this is uh, then stored somewhere in the Drupal database, in the variables table actually. Um, and there is a rules action that digs out this um, configuration so you can uh, run actions and conditions on them. And I'm just going to show you a little bit of how that works. If you go into configuration workflow rules, and I'm just going to add a component to show you the data that, that is available. Here it is already. Huh? the temporary component from my last uh, screencast. I'm going to delete this action here, sorry. Um, there is a new action called called load Drupal point levels in the rules mastery group here. If you select that one, you it will load the configuration you have on this screen and make the data available for rules. Um, called Drupal point levels, level config, that's fine, save. Uh, and now I'm going to show you what, the, uh, what this data is, and this is actually a, a list of data, as we will see. Um, I'm going to use this uh, set a data value, just to dig around in the, in the uh, data that we have. Um, uh, I can't actually write data to this because I didn't make, I didn't make this rules data writable, that's not uh, the point right now. Uh, here we have the level config, the Drupal point levels, and uh, that is an, a data object in itself. And you can see it has a colon dot dot dot, which means it contains further data, further properties that we can investigate. And when clicking on that, we realize that this is a list, a list of data that contains well m multiple value things. And this actually corresponds then to each level here. So we start on the config 0 here is the first config which is called level 1 here. Kind of confusing but that's how it works. Sorry. Uh, 1, 2, 3 and you can actually go on type 5 or something and dig into that data as well. But let's not do that right now. And you can see also here that we have a colon dot 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 which means that you can drill further down into this data. I'm going to show you here, we have two different things. We have roles that are awarded, uh, and you can see the role is also a colon dot 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 thing. And that is a list of roles, and that makes sense because we can select multiple roles here uh, for each level. And we also have uh, the limit, the point limit here, which is an integer uh, that uh, rules can work with. The, role, uh, the roles are actually also integers because that's how they are represented in, in uh, Drupal and that's how uh, rules works with, uh, with the roles. Okay, in the next exercise we're going to work with this data and uh, make actually the, this leveling up thing happen on your site. Um, it will be pretty tricky, uh, but as you will see when you're done, it's a pretty quick and short configuration 
that is, uh, uh, well, kind of nifty, com complex but short and, and, and uh, clever. So, that's it. We will work with uh, lists, and I'm, let's actually show you. We can, with this list, we can do loops in, in, rules, in rules, and you will actually need this in the next exercise. So I can add a loop here, a loop over, over any data, a, any list data that rules has, like this level config thing. And I can, let's see, continue here. I can now, inside this loop, add an action. Let's try to do this. And I'm just going to uh, debug, we'll put out some debug data here. And I'm going to output the list item that we have right now. So I'm looping through all the uh, Drupal points configuration that we have and just outputting the, uh, the config values for, for that particular item that we're looping right now. Let's see what this looks like. I'm going to execute this manual. That's very handy when it comes to rules components. Execute. Bam. And now I bet this is, yeah, seven outputs because we have seven entries here from level one to level seven. That's hard coded into the module right now. Sorry about that. And we can look at each of these. Say we have a limit that says 150 and we have a role that says seven. That is the number of the, the integer corresponding to that role on your site. And so on. That's the data that rules can work with and we could have some some other things happening inside this loop, and that's what we'll, we'll be working with in the next exercise. I hope this didn't confuse you too much, and I see you in the next exercise.